Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, May the 29th, and it's 9.02 a.m. And I'm going to talk about something that I had, don't believe I have covered ever. And yet it is probably one of the most despicable things I find in the world. And that is the subject of abortion. Hardly anybody touches on it. And yet you wouldn't believe how many there are done yearly. Although so many states have increase their restrictions like you can only be so far along and then you can't have one or uh, many of our abortion clinics here in Alabama have closed because our restrictions have gotten so tight the one near me is closed yay my daughter used to stand out there with my grandson when he was little holding a sign and she did that for about six months or a, year, or a year, and then she felt like she didn't need to be doing that. I don't know why, but anyway, maybe because he was getting older. All right, so one of my subscribers, one of you, sent me um, first just a line about it, and then I asked for a source, and she sent me a video link that's here on YouTube. I said, thank you. I'm going to do a little more research into this. Now, here in the United States of America, this thing called at-home abortions or a DIY abortion, do it yourself, has been legal since the year 2000. But in the UK... They just started doing it because of the COVID-19. Let me read this to you under this video. The video is called, The Abortion Industry is Exploiting a National Crisis. Can you help? It's uh, Sancta Familia Media. Sounds Spanish. Sancta Familia Media, but it's all written in English. All right, so there's a link here where you can donate if you wish to donate to this cause. This says the abortion industry is exploiting a national crisis. Can you help? The U.S. abortion politician, Rahm Emanuel, famously stated that a national crisis presents an unmissable opportunity to plan for your future. Yeah, we don't want our future full of children, do we? No. Your God help them. That is exactly what the UK abortion industry has done. On Monday, 30th of March, the government caved in to the demands of 13 abortion bodies. Now, I don't know if that means clinics or people. 13 abortion bodies and announced it was permitting home DIY abortions. It claimed this was an emergency measure to contain the coronavirus. So now we have another thing coming out of this so-called pandemic. Oh, excuse me, pandemic. The Society for the Protection of the Unborn Children is considered legal action against the government. Let me read that again. The Society for the Protection of Unborn Children is considering legal action against the government. Well, let's pray for them. This is a call for prayer 
if you can't donate to help them do whatever it is they need money for, perhaps they want to make signs and get people gathered to do a demonstration in front of the government building. I don't know. That stuff does take money. This says SPUCs, that's the agency I just read, Society for Protection of Unborn Children, Standing United Together campaign aims to raise 250,000 pounds. I'm not sure what that sign is in front. It's not a dollar sign. I think I think they do pounds. Uh, Marcus, you're from the UK. If you see this, weigh in. Tell us what's that mean. I could look it up. To ensure that the fight for Britain's unborn babies is not derailed in the coming weeks. Unborn babies. Right. These these babies are babies. And, okay, let me continue. When they will face greater dangers than ever from the abortion industry under the cover of the coronavirus. And an industry is exactly what it is, but it's also part of um, population control. Okay? The fewer... Babies are born. That's the fewer people that are on the planet that are going to grow up and procreate. Okay. So then there's to, to donate to protect the unborn. There's a there's the link. All right. Now the, the video here is, um, it starts off kind of gross. Uh, three minutes, 25 seconds. All right. So then I wanted to find out did this just become law because of COVID? Well, apparently, yes, in the UK. However, let's see. Then I have another video here of a abortion doctor explaining exactly how a medical abortion works. How you, and they have demons, pictures drawn, not real people. Of how you take the pill and within 24 to 48 hours the baby dies because the progesterone is halted and your uterus has to have progesterone. Anyway, he goes into describing it. Okay, then I looked up when did the DIY abortion become legal? It took me a little bit to find it. Something wanting to send me to Roe versus Wade, 1973, abortions became legal, and so forth. All right. Do you know that the, in the United States, the abortion rate has reached a historic low in 2017? I find that wonderful. And when Roe versus Wade was made legal, when the abortion was made legal, Due to that case, and there wasn't even anybody named Roe or Wade. They didn't want their names on it. There were 16.3, um, what is that, thousands, um, or percentage, percentage of pregnancies ended. And, and then it went up to 29.3 in 1981 and ever since then it has declined to the year 2017 now it's down to 13.5 we need it lower I wonder what it is for the last couple years let's see I read this it's a lot of statistics, but what I wanted to point out was 17% um, of abortion patients in 2014 identified themselves as mainline Protestant. 13% 
as evangelical Protestant. Now, what does that mean? Evangelical versus mainline. And 24% as Catholic. While 38% reported no religious affiliation. And the remaining 8% reported some other kind of religion or affiliation. All right, but, but here, wherever they talked about abortion, they called it, let me find one of the sentences. Oh, come on. Anyway, the point is, in the year 2000, the United States started allowing the abortion pills. You take several. And it talks about abortion care. This is a site that is pro-abortion. And it's talking about how abortion has come under fire. And those who need abortion care are having a harder time. They have to travel farther and uh, I'm trying to find a sentence, but I'm go I guess I'm going too fast over them. Anyway, it was just talking about how so many now had to drive more than a hundred miles to get abortion care. In other words, to murder their babies. So they didn't have to worry about the little <sighs> nuisances. Well, let me tell you something. Babies are hard at first. Yeah, you lose a little sleep. You lose a lot of sleep. But the joy a baby brings into your life is just... I mean, it's so pathetic that people actually think That, that, that an unborn baby is not a baby. That it's just a blob of tissue. And they'll tell them that. They'll lie to them to get their money. And it's it's talking about how over f the, a regular abortion that's under um, so many weeks were um, only like $503 on average. But a do-it-yourself to buy those pills was more than that. It was 500 and something. I can't find it right off. Um, but anyway, it was more expensive than, than just letting them do it. And I thought, well, maybe that's to discourage somebody from doing it. Because they'd rather... You know, there are, there are problems with it. And many of them have to end up going to the hospital for hemorrhaging anyway. So that's all I have to say about this. I'll put the links in the description box for anybody that would like to discuss this with somebody you know that might be thinking about having an abortion. It is murder. Children are a gift from God. Even though they may not turn out the way you want, that is on us. If we raise them right, we love on them. Even being tough on them during your teenage years shows love. And they won't like it at the time. But, they end up realizing it was out of love that you bothered to say no. So anyway, I'm going to end this here and I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over it because I'd like for it to go up. I don't know if this is a, an, a, a what do you call it, a prohibited subject. I wouldn't think so because there's two videos here. I mean, it's stuff people need to know. So we have had legal do-it-yourself abortions since 2000. 
and the UK has just approved it in March because of the pandemic. I mean the pandemic. Okay. <clears throat> so with that I say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection over myself and my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I will say bye for now. I will talk to you later.